U.S. Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey, known for his pro-Armenian stance, has been found guilty on all counts in a high-profile corruption case. The verdict was delivered by a jury on July 16, 2024. Menendez faced a staggering 16 charges, including honest services fraud, bribery, and extortion. The jury's verdict followed a nine-week trial in which prosecutors said the Democrat abused the power of his office to protect allies from criminal investigations and enrich associates, including his wife, through acts that included meeting with Egyptian intelligence officials and helping that country access millions of dollars in U.S. military aid. Menendez did not testify at the trial, but insisted publicly he was only doing his job as the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He said the gold bars found in his New Jersey home by the FBI belonged to his wife, Nadine Menendez. She too was charged but her trial was postponed so she could recover from breast cancer surgery. She has pleaded not guilty. Immediately after the verdict, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in a statement called on Menendez to resign. In light of this guilty verdict, Senator Menendez must now do what is right for his constituents, the Senate, and our country, and resign," Schumer said. Despite maintaining his innocence throughout the trial, Menendez now faces up to 20 years in prison. However, legal experts suggest he may appeal the decision, potentially prolonging the legal battle. The jury's decision didn't stop at Menendez. Two businessmen, Weil Hanna and Fred Dabes, accused of bribing the senator, were also found guilty. It should be noted that although Menendez was removed from the position of the head of the Foreign Relations Committee of the Senate, he continued to work in the upper chamber of the Congress. When he was the head of the committee, he drew attention for his pro-Armenian position and anti-Azerbaijani activities. Ukraine can destroy the Crimean Bridge with Magura drones. Ukraine could hypothetically use Magura drones to strike the Crimean Bridge, Yevgeny Erin, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, said on air at the telephone. If we make a purely hypothetical assumption that such a task will be set, then we can say that in any case, it will be a comprehensive solution and here the use of any one type of weapon will most likely not be envisaged. It will be something more global and with the use of at least several types of weapons. We can only imagine this hypothetically, said Erin. He also added that work is currently underway to improve the Ukrainian Magura surface drones in particular with regard to their range. We will not yet announce the specific parameters or capabilities that the drone is planned to have. However, the work is being done intensively and I think that the results will be effective. Recently, the Polish scientific journal Political Science and Security Studies Journal conducted a study in which it discovered that the Ukrainian Magura V-5 drone destroyed the largest number of enemy ships during the full-scale Russian invasion. As part of the study, scientists analyzed the impact of the use of unmanned marine drones on the security situation in the Black Sea region and identified the most effective marine drone. The study showed that during the war, Ukrainian naval drones struck 22 Russian military ships, of which eight were destroyed. In addition, the Nikolai and Mamai drones hit two ships, Sea Baby hit four ships, and Magura V-5 hit 14 ships, eight of which were completely destroyed. Meanwhile, the main intelligence directorate reported that Russia is trying to reproduce the Magura V-5 naval drones. At the same time, Ukraine is now significantly ahead of the Russian Federation in the development of naval unmanned systems. For Kyiv, the Crimean Bridge is equally a hated symbol of the Kremlin's illegal annexation. Its destruction would strengthen Ukraine's campaign to liberate Crimea and raise morale on and off the battlefield where Kyiv's forces are gradually being pushed back. The bridge has been hit and repaired twice before.